Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember you are greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with the Hockey Coach Guru Coach Frenchy. Today, episode number 358. What your menu coach? First of all, guys, going to have an Ab News for you today. And then, yes, we have another Montreal Canadian proposal rumor for you. But before we start, guys, we invite you, don't forget, please, to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey News Live Show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And let's dive in talking about my first subject of the day. First subject of the day, guys, about the Ab News. The Montreal Canadian announced uh, the beginning of the rookie camp September 13th for a couple of days before they move up to the Buffalo to do the Montreal Canadian prospect camp. There are six different NHL team prospect in Buffalo. Montreal are going to play three games September 15th. Again, the Buffalo Sabre prospect, the 16th. Again, the Boston Prospect team, and finally, the 18 are going to play again the Ottawa Senator Prospect before the returning in Montreal. And today's letter, they're going to start the main camp. We know the Montreal Canadiens announced that the first game of the preseason is September 25th. Again, the New Jersey Devils. So, very important to take all the notes, guys, for the Montreal Canadiens are going to be back on the eyes at the middle of the September 2023. My last news are the day, guys, about David Rebacher. Looked like some people announced yesterday they was worried about the fact that Rebacher has some kind of disease called the Osgood Slaughter. From Cluden head coach where Rebacher played last year, he firm they had no problem with David Rebacher. Matter of fact, he spoke with the doctor of the team and they mentioned there are no disease for Rebacher. What happening at the end of the season? One month before the end of the season, Rebacher gets some kind of water around the knee area. It looked like it was more about the overwhelming training. In fact, he played too many minutes on the ice to create that kind of problem for him. At some point, the team was a little bit worried to send him play at the World Championship. He did not stop him to go. And it looked like it was fine. I don't know who stopped this, but at the end of the day, guys, this is really minor problem for Rebacher. And this disease, anyway, once you stop to growing, it's completely disappear at the end of the day. Don't worry about this. Again, some people was a little bit concerned, worried. They make a big splash. And you know how this work in Montreal don't take too much. A lot of people was concerned. So I just want to share with you what happened yesterday. If you watched me last night during my live streaming, I explained exactly what is the problem for an Osgood slaughter. And that's concluded, guys. All the subject we have for the ab news. I would like to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment. So what do you think about the schedule of Montreal Canadian, the rookie camp, the prospect camp, and finally, this situation with David Rebacher. Let's move on for my second subject of the day. My second subject of the day, guys, about the Montreal Canadian rumor. First of all, guys, some of you want me to call this proposal. Some of you want me to consistently call it rumor. I don't know, guys, is this is more about entertaining. Whatever you want to me to call this, uh, it's sometimes uh, created by other people on the social media, or they are created by an expert in NHL, or me, I make some kind of modification. So that's simple. But today, guys, it's something happening at the NHL Draft 2023. What are you talking about, coach? First of all, Montreal tried to move up or move down at some point, and then they realized they preferred to stay a pick at the fifth overall pick, 2023, David Rebacher. We just talked about him a couple of minutes ago. Now, the Nashville Predator offer a trade to the Montreal Canadiens to get the fifth overall pick. What? Yes, they offer a Montreal Canadiens guys, the goaltender Askarov, they offer them the 15th overall pick and the 24th overall pick and return the Montreal Canadiens send the fifth overall pick 2023. Montreal select, like I said, David Rebacher. So my question to you guys is, do you think Montreal did the right decision to keep or not Rebacher for the selection? Three teams were looking to get David Rebacher. It was the Arizona Coyotes, the Washington Capitals guys. Everybody thinking they was going to get Mitch Cobb. They was targeting David Rebacher. And the Nashville Predator did everything possible to select at the top five to get David Rebacher. There was not only Montreal won him. Many other NHL teams would love to have him 
for the selection for the NHL Draft 2023. That's complete, guys. All the subject we have on this episode. Here we go. Episode number 358 is over. Hopefully, you enjoy it. But before we leave, we invite you. Please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Akination Show, leave me a comment about this episode. And of course, you have greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, great, blessing day, everybody. <laughs>